fact that I come here not just as the British Foreign Minister, but as the presidency of the European Union. And we, throughout the European Union, are united in our deep concern at the stalemate of the peace process and our anxiety to see it make progress. We do, of course, recognize that if there is to be a stable, secure peace, then there will need to be a comprehensive approach to the peace process, which must embrace both the Syrian and the Lebanese tracks, as well as the Palestinian track. We would like to see 425 implemented. I did discuss with Mr. Mordecai yesterday in Israel the approach of the government of Israel to the withdrawal of forces from southern Lebanon. Uh, and I have also today discussed the matter further in Damascus. We would like to see 425 implemented. We would also like to see it implemented in the context of a comprehensive settlement which would enable progress on the peace process for all the tracks, not just one track, and which would make sure that all sides could then live in security. <laughs> I discussed this at great length when I was in Damascus, both with the Foreign Minister and uh, with President Assad. Uh, I think it is uh, fair to say that they do not themselves see the pr a realistic prospect of a unilateral Israeli withdrawal. Uh, where such a unilateral withdrawal takes place, that is, of course, a matter for the Israeli government. I think that if there, there was to be any discussion about the terms of that withdrawal, they would, of course, expect the Syrian track to be part of that discussion, and we would all want to see progress on that Syrian track.